Hi everyone, uh, this is uh, ME uh, 5390, Advanced Thermal Design. I think this is the last lecture. Uh, next week, we have a final exam. Am I right? Yes. Okay, syllabus, let check the final exam. Uh, Monday, April 24th, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., two hours. Okay, that's the final. Uh, I don't think you can see that. Can you see? No. <laughs> Actually, it's a little confusing. Can you see this? Can you see uh, some electric? I can see thermal electric generators. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyhow. So, the, I just uh, uh, final exam is Monday, April 24th, 4 to Seven, three hours. That's. Is it five to seven or four to seven? I thought it was five to seven. Oh, what, what was the uh, schedule? Uh, let me, uh, excuse me, let, let me check. Uh, I'm sorry, five, five to seven. I thought it's four, five, two hours. Uh, um, five to seven, Monday. Okay. So, that was uh, scheduled. Uh, let me uh, uh, just briefly uh, review and some indicate important things for the final exam. Okay, so we understand uh, this is cutaway over. A module. Okay, this module uh, will be the same for a generator and a cooler. Cooler is a refrigerator, and uh, it consists of n-type, p-type. Uh, usually, we uh, discuss uh, theoretically just one couple, and then there are n couple in series easily can handle, okay? So uh, something like that. And uh, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but uh, this is a generator, which is uh, a P-type and uh, N-type. And uh, uh, important Q, uh, hot temperature and cold temperature and uh, uh, 
high temperature absorption and the cold side dissipation, QC, we, we know that. And there is an external load resistance. Everybody knows that uh, load. This is an important concept. So that the power is n times uh, uh, voltage times no no uh, current times resistance load uh, or voltage current. Thing. So, um, and there is also a, a internal resistance. Internal resistance is a, 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 let's see, the electrical uh, resistance times. L over A, yeah. So the, this is a uh, uh, electrical resistance is a uh, uh, electrical resistance over N type and uh, E type. Gotta be okay. So you are new. This is total. Uh, unique copper. So, uh, and uh, the ideal equations, this is ideal equations. Ideal equations. Anytime you can use it, once you know the current and the property, uh, you know, uh, so R is uh, electrical resistance, K is thermal conductance, K. Right. We discussed thermal is K, A, no, A is an uh, element, uh, one element. Uh, here we assume N type, P type is a uh, similar dimensions. So one element A, and the length, leg length, L, something like that. Look at that. L, leg length is the same. Uh, we assume AP, AN is uh, same. Not necessarily same, but we, we assume. Oh, oh, uh, okay. So, so that we, we develop the ideal equation heat uh, absorption, and uh, the A must be a uh, sum of that, you know, P type, and N type is usually come with a minus, so in order to sum, we have to use a minus. Minus minus is a plus, okay, keep in mind. So again, R is, uh, uh, if the LP, LN is the same, then this is uh, rho L A. This is again, K is the same, so the K uh, A L. So rho is rho P plus rho N. K is K N plus K P, something like that. Okay, so the, the, so C, we can use a uh, uh, dissipation and the power. We have another power. This is uh, using the load resistance or substrate. You know, QH, QC, so so that we can. Uh, come up with the voltage and the current. So current is is this. 
Okay, ideal. Ideal equations. Um, interesting is the current is nothing to do with the uh, uh, figure of Mary dimension is voltage ideal equation nothing to do with figure of Mary power it's amazing nothing to do with the uh, Nothing to do with the figure of Mary, but uh, efficiency, yes, we need the figure of Mary. Figure of Mary. So, um, and uh, the uh, uh, we figure out uh, the maximum parameter. It's very convenient once we figure out and then normalize even maximum efficiency, uh, maximum power, but usually uh, this is enough because it was very close. And then ratio normalized. You can raise a question, okay? This is the last class. If you have a question, you can raise, I can rephrase, uh, explain. Okay, students? You can stop me. Did now. you say that the maximum efficiency power is the same as um, the maximum efficiency max power? Very close, not the same, very close. Okay. Very, very close. So if you know this, uh, is enough usually. Okay. Okay, but the, that's being found with the same, like the yeah. max. Yeah, yeah, we will see. I, I will talk about it. So um, the ratio, power ratio, and the current uh, in terms of normalized, that's the good. And then everything normalized, efficiency, then we're able to plot it. This is a uh, a general, wow. Okay, I did it actually. I never seen any other books. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. But uh, uh, some are, are my own work, but some uh, maybe. Yeah, but anyhow, uh, this is good to see um, the load resistance ratio because the load. Resistance is optional. We don't know. We want to know actually what is a good value. So that when we look at the characteristic, um, and obviously a uh, maximum power here, maximum efficiency. Is very close no matter how that is good so we can go either maximum efficiency maximum power is very close look at the 98 percent you know what is ninety seven percent do you see that about yeah. So, uh, and practically, yeah, it is very close. Uh, uh, it turns out. Uh, and then uh, current and voltage, even we can figure out. So, what is a ratio? Is important is one. Is a maximum power. And then efficiency even 98%. Look at that, 0.98, something like that, according to this. So this is important. One, one is a very important uh, uh, ratio for operating operation, okay? Uh, but still, this is ideal, okay? Keep in mind, 
Uh, do you know that uh, ideal equation? Uh, we uh, assume the three assumption uh, is important. I think we, you can go over three assumptions. Maybe I can ask and find like that. So anyhow, uh, ideal it's still represent the uh, the characteristic. Uh, And uh, the efficiency, I don't need the uh, efficiency, I need uh, uh, the GT value. So I, I use the GT one, very typical, uh, the value, okay? Uh, so th this is a, a practical, if you look at the commercial module and, and then you can think about this very, and then uh, the the similar now, but this is a it's a symmetry uh, respect to current. Uh, so so very easily even you can create. Look, look at that. It's it's a parabolic second uh, parabolic. So uh, the maximum is one the maximum is one whatever power efficiency direct maximum must be one and the all lower is uh, maybe some value so you, you can just plot it easily second order so what is the maximum uh current the, the current is uh, you cannot control. You can control um, the load, but you, but the, uh, once you control the load, you can control current practically, not directly. You can control. So the the maximum. This is interesting. Maximum power. That that's the we are looking at. So that the uh, current is 0.5 and the uh, load resistance is one again. Load resistance is one. Voltage is 0.5. So this was, is uh, normalized against the maximum uh, value. So when I showed the real module characteristic, it turns out exactly same shape. That's, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, it's the same shape, almost the same. And then real values. So, so that we can, uh, for example, what is the homework number? Yeah, this is one of a homework. It's a something like that. This is a, a one of a commercial product. It's 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 a exactly same shape. So so that I can figure out uh, the voltage maximum and the maximum power just. And the maximum maximum current, I can figure out. And even uh, if if it is uh, the maximum load, so so that this is efficiency efficiency. Okay, they they call uh, uh what they call uh the load, yeah. Measure the load, uh, yeah, output they call they call it, okay. So load uh, uh, power loaded is something load resistance, uh, and uh, yeah. Anyhow, so so we can see uh, uh, the efficiency something like that. Now uh, back to 
So, well, it is the sh almost the same shape. Then it gotta be actual. Must be once we know the maximum value, we can figure out the actual. Actual, yeah, yeah. I can figure out actual. Once I know the maximum power, I, I can figure out what would be actual power because it's, it's uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, once I know the current, uh, it, 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 what is the ratio is, yeah, that's the, that, that's the actual, is, is the maximum one. Actually, is is the maximum at at this law. Okay, and voltage, and the load the resistance, uh, even efficiency. Okay, maximum load efficiency. Can you read the efficiency at the maximum uh, load? Maximum ninety-eight percent. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 98% efficiency. No, not not the 98 or the... Or 0.98. Point, point 0.99 now, not the efficiency. Efficiency over maximum is 0.98. Don't confuse. So efficiency is about 0.15. Then you have to multiply 0.15 maximum. Do you understand or not? Yeah, where did where did you get the point one five? If it is a point one five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand then. Yeah. 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 Uh, you so can... you're saying that's with the maximum load yes. of one or what or five? What are you saying? What? Where was your start? You said the maximum load or the maximum power. Um, this is a maximum efficiency. It's different. Right. Maxi yeah. Okay. But you had said to begin with, what is the maximum load or was it the maximum power you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. That That's about the very small anyhow. Um, okay. I would right. not see the difference if, if you start to say. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the max parameters for the maximum power. Yeah. It's a very close. Yeah, it just got confusing because there was like maximum parameters at the max coefficient of performance and there was maximum parameters at the maximum power and the maximum. It was just there were like three different max or two different maximums and you found the mid between the two. So I just uh, wanted to clarify. Yeah, you have to a little bit deep thinking you can figure out. Okay. Right. Yeah. So uh, it, it, the point is very close. Uh, very close. Maximum power, maximum efficiency is very close. So, uh, and then uh, if the uh, GT value, matter of GT is, uh, the one is uh, most of a commercial product, but if the GT value is not the one, then we can uh, compensate, we can, whatever, we can compensate about uh, the same uh, temperature, whatever same. You, you, you can see the difference between the GT value. Do you see that? Okay, so you can something uh, estimate uh, using the uh, uh, this. Again, listen carefully. I am keep telling you this is ideal. So what would be real? Okay. Um, the, if we use the real value of a maximum value, real value, then this value would be very close to real. Now, I'm not saying exact, but very close, close. So it became, it can be a, a real value. 
once you use the uh, real maximum value from from the commercial product. Professor, real quick. So, like, for one of the homeworks, you asked, like, I will go over homework. Okay. Okay. Wait. I just yeah. yeah. Please wait. I I will go over homework problem. Okay. So okay. I, I I need the time to just to review here. Right. I will go over homework problem again. Okay. So wait. Uh, but anyhow, this concept is something like that. Okay. So you you can figure out uh, what's going on. And uh, and then uh, there is a table. I think sometimes uh, we use table. This is a real, real value, okay, real, commercial, whatever. And uh, this is a real, real maximum value from commercial. And, uh, and then uh, I will discuss, but once I have a maximum value, I can, Compute effective material property. I can compute why? Because uh, they provide the maximum values. Listen carefully, students. You have to understand uh, everything what I'm saying today. Okay. If you don't ask me, I will repeat. Uh, I will speak slowly. The commercial product we have a maximum values. Everybody knows that, right? And then um, I will show you, I can compute effective material property. This is the first time we see CVEC, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, figure of merit. These values, they don't provide ma manufacturer. I called in the beginning, many, many times I called, what is a property? What is a, a material property? They say, no, they don't, they don't want to tell us. I knew the reason why. Um, so I had a difficulty without the, uh, uh, property, how can I compute? Um, so I developed, so I developed uh, myself. This is my work. A vacuum material property computed and then compare, compare. I, I will go back and effective. I compare. This is marks, our measurement, commercial product. The lines, whatever, uh, power, efficiency, whatever I can. Uh, we have equation, yeah, ideal equation. Ideal. I'm talking about ideal equation. We have a, a lot of uh, assumptions. But still ideal equation, but interesting is effective material property, ideal equation with the effective material property become real. Look at that. You have to understand it, it become real. Everything is in agreement. Wow. That is amazing because uh, assumption is uh, so complicated. Contact resistance, the, uh, you know, uh, Thompson effect, heat loss is, I don't know. It depends on the, you know, device. But once I use effective material property, it works. So I can use ideal equation and then predict the real things. That's what I found.
approximate to it. Otherwise, it's very difficult. Even the commercial product is some given information. And then when we have some specific situation, how we can predict the power output or efficiency. Okay, but now we have a way. That's why I, I final exam, you have to answer it. No property are provided. The only some commercial curves are provided like a, like a commercial product. Then we able to predict anything, any question. Okay, that that's you have to understand. Now, how I did it? Uh, we have uh, equations: uh, maximum value, maximum power, maximum voltage, or whatever. Then I can inverse. Look at that. Uh, electrical resistivity, I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I, I said the conductivity, no, electrical resistivity, electrical resistivity in terms of maximum values, I max, W max, uh, it turns out I need the A over L. So, um, A L, is A over L, uh, yeah, I used to say, okay, A, once you have A over L value, I can do it. Effective material, uh, this is the C back, and, and the figure of merit, and then finally K value. But this is the, um, uh, this, it must be P, type P and so it's a double over usually the property. Okay, everything, everything turns out. Okay, now, so why well, is that very weird? Uh, what happened um, is, um, here the information of N, A of L, A, L information, and then A, L, A, L information is there. Once, once we have table, we have this information so that you can compute. Now, again, so this is actually, um, I think a, a little complicated, but uh, you have to understand. Although this is created using ideal equation, since this is normalized and uh, the maximum value is a real value, once you use the real value, it becomes real. So, so th from this plot, if you estimate, that become real. That's that's make a make sense. Okay. So some problem I made, you can use this and estimate simply, even without the equation. You know, you, you don't have to. Sometimes, not sometimes, you don't have to use equation. You, you just use um, these values, figure out, for, for, for example, uh, maximum power value. Maximum, maximum power value, just uh, you can estimate without the equation. Do you understand that? Say yes, somebody. Yes. Yeah. But if you use equation, the same. There is a two way now. Now is a two way. Again, I'm telling you, just using this plot, estimate maximum power values. 
or you can use equation, plug in current resistance, calculate, the value should be very close. Uh, I demonstrate. Even more powerful is now future. I made one problem for you, future. Nuclear fusion, very in 10 years. I, I, my, I, I think in, in, in 10 years, we might have a nuclear fusion somewhere in the world, especially in South Korea. One of leading nuclear fusion in research. And then we have also property three. Do you think you can estimate <clears throat> is a temperature is a 2,500 high temperature. Low temperature is about the 400, 500. It's crazy. It's crazy, but uh, it, you, you can generate uh, power with no piston. Just a nuclear reactor and thermoelectric convert. Uh, I think, uh, let me see. 2,500 is H, TH, TC is 500K. So what is the ratio is 500 over 2,500 is what is that? Point two. Point two. Yeah. So this is about the curve. This is about curve. GT is a three in 10 years. What is the efficiency? Anyone? This is amazing. This is amazing. Possible. Uh, but uh, this, this is still, uh, uh, yeah, a little uh, possibility, but still, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, do we have time? Yeah. Um, I think uh, um, I have to. Yeah, so now is is cooler. Okay, now is cooler or heat pump. Uh, the same I told you, exactly same. But now is um, interesting is we apply power. Okay we apply power, um, apply power, and the voltage and current apply power. So current, current is flowing. And the heat flow. We know the Peltier cooling, the Joule heating, conductions. So QC, cooling. Dissipation called QH, TC, TH. Now is what is a driving is current because voltage and current. Current is driving, so we can control current now. The thermoelectric generator. The load resistance is control, but now current is control. We can control current. So we have to discuss what current is good. <clears throat> so again, uh, we have uh, 
ideal equations, cooling power, and uh, heat dissipation. The first law, power voltage. Now, COP. COP. Professor, is the R, is that the R load or? Refrigerator. No, I mean the R in like what? the equation. That is, is that in, internal. In R internal, okay. Yeah, yeah, internal. So we have many R's. So um, now uh, efficiency of refrigerator, what is the output is cooling power. What is the input is power input. So using the equations and the uh, uh, COP of heat pump, is uh, what is uh, output is heating and the input is input power something like that so um, then i told you uh, tc is not known so we are not gonna use in our equation th is no constant in the beginning so I expressed maximum value in terms of TH, okay, in my book. That's the difference between handbook and my book. So it turns out that there is maximum temperature difference possible. I figure out mathematically um, and then i max i figure out q max interesting i max again nothing to do with the gt q max q max is nothing to do with the gt and uh, uh, cop interesting is function of GT. So again, efficiency. So um, uh, COP max, uh, it's okay. And then um, I was able to plot. This is a rate. Once I have a maximum value, the same. Normalize cooling power. This is cooling power. And this is voltage, and this is a temperature, and this is current. So depend on the current ratio. This is again normalized characteristic. This is not easy. No, I don't know. I I work hard. Do you see that? I so work hard. Look at that. All everything my work. So I was able to plot it. This is a characteristic now. So voltage, current, uh, temperature, since we know the maximum values. And then I was able to plot another one, COP, and also see this is very useful current. Current, current is control. This is control current. And uh, this is a maximum. Here is a maximum one. QC1 is maximum and COP depend on the temperature. temperature. Professor, so with this, I was wondering, the COP curve has like two sides, like how you can hit two points when you're at 1.2? Well, uh, still, uh, I, I don't get your point. 
Would like you? delta T over T max of 0. 0.3. If you have a three? COP of 1.2, would I pick the I over I max of 0. 0.2 or would I pick an I over I max of 0. 0.47? Oh, oh yeah, the, the, the two point. Yeah, that's your order. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I was kind of confused about that. Okay. You thank you. Thank you for in that case, because the point three is curve is here, right? Yeah. So, um, if it, the requirement is a COP2, you're going to go this or this. Which way are you going to go? Now you have to decide. You have to decide. Okay, so it's valid either way? No, no. One way oh. is much well, better. Well, I would choose the other one because the Q over Q max um, converges with that 0.3. So there and are it's two. not possible with the other curve, but yeah, here and here. So which one are you gonna use for operating? Point uh, four five or point two? Current four five. Yeah, this. Why? Because of uh, this is a uh, the maximum cooling side. This is this side is the maximum cooling side. Okay, look at that. 0.3, if you curve 0.3 for maximum cooling is this. Do you understand? Right. So maximum 0.5 is here. But if you 0.2 side is, is here, big difference. Power. Right. So this is we like it. No, this is no. Okay. Yeah, the homework problem had a coefficient of performance of equal to one. So that one was just a little more difficult. No, no matter what. Three. Yeah. No matter what. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, you are right, there are two, but uh, one side is much better than the other side. Right. Okay. So, so, so no question about it. Okay. Right. We like to have more cooling. Gold is cooling. So basically, whichever one gives you a higher cooling. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So, so this one has uh, uh, gives us uh, some information again, okay, similar information. Um. Okay, obviously uh, we have a, one of a problem in final exam, okay? Again, um, you don't, sometimes you don't have to use equation. Uh, you know, the equation, I, I, I mean, uh, uh, Q, C is N alpha T, C, I plus, or minus, I, I forgot, um, two, um, what is that? I R, I square R, and the K, uh, T H minus T C, something like that. You, you don't have to even use it. Why? Because uh, I, I can get it this uh, for, from the Q max. You can you can compute the uh, maximum cooling or or maximum uh, COP. The point is uh, there are two uh, optimum point. That's the confusing now. So point three again point three. COP is here. This is the point. Point three. And the point three, this is the uh, cooling. Point three cooling is here. 
Okay. So current cooling is one. Maximum cooling is one. Maximum COP is anyone? What is the maximum COP current? What is that? Suppose this is the example. Can you read for me? Uh, COP. COP max. That would be for like 2.7 or 0.27, I mean, for the I over I max. Yeah, yeah. 0.27. Yes. Yeah. The COP would be like 1.45. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a. Uh, wait a minute. Current is a 0.2. Uh, yeah, COP is a 0.3 maximum. Oh, the oh, the no, T over, no. yeah, no, yeah. COP is a, a 1.4 uh, or 5. Yeah, 1.4. 1. Okay, for, for maximum, yeah. Um, so this is very useful, actually. Very useful, I think. Uh, um, but the people are not well recognized how good it is. This is a really good. Once you understand that, okay. Um, n without the equation, you can just figure out. Um, and the design. Now, uh, I'm telling you, everybody, two optimal point COP and cooling power maximum, okay? Two uh, point optimum. Yes or no? Do you understand? Two optimal point. Are you talking about like for the optimum power and the optimum coefficient of performance? Yes. Yes, it's efficiency. So either efficiency maximum or cooling maximum. I don't know. You have to decide. Okay, now there is a Cray super computer. Okay, um, like a. Uh, What, what is the name of the coin, digital coin? Okay. One dollar, if you find it, is $30,000. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> Am I right? One digital coin, Bitcoin is 30, right now I checked the $30,000. And they are looking for the uh, uh, using the computer, okay? So they say the cost of electricity is doesn't matter. Maximum cooling is important. Uh, otherwise, it's melt. Okay, some situation. So do you know the CO? Uh, COE says, do maximum cooling and compute. Then what, what you can do, cooling. COP max or, or cooling max? Answer? Efficiency is no important. Cooling is important. Would that be the coefficient of performance? Oh my goodness. Which For maximum cooling? 
Don't say two, just one, pick one. Which one? What, the, the QC Max? Yeah, that, that, that's a CEO said, uh, you know, maximum cooling, do it. And then what would be uh, still, still uh, TC is 0.3. What would be uh, 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 maximum cooling is, you, you can get the maximum cooling one. Current, current is one for maximum cooling. Do, do you know in this case, what is a COP? Anyone? For maximum cooling, what would be COP? When, uh, five, five. Uh, are you looking at here? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, it's so right below 0.6. Yes, yes, so I, I don't know, point, point 0.5 something, okay? COP, yes, you're right. So COP is very low. Cooling is maximum. Fine, depend on the requirement. Now. Uh, we talk about the cooling in uh, electric vehicle, EV. So battery is limiting. So what would be cooling? What is current? Is they say maximum cooling is too much. COP is too low. Okay, what happens? COP is too low. COP is QC over power. If it is too low, you need a lot of power. You need a lot of power. So battery consumption is very high. In a, in a five hours, it ran out all the battery. It's cold winter. In five hours, all battery ran out. That's not the good. So they need the COP higher. They say 1.2 COP. That's the question. Electric vehicle, they want to have some good COP, some good, uh, uh, so somewhere, not the maximum, not the maximum point, not the maximum, but somewhere, 1.2 is about uh, somewhere between, about here, is it? Somewhere, somewhere between here. Not here, not here. That's uh, I call half optimum. I, I named it because I, I have to name it. Otherwise, half optimum. My design, half optimum means somewhere half of it. Do you understand? There is a half optimum, actually, sometimes it's good. Depend on. So there are three optimum, one COP optimum, one cooling optimum, one half optimum. Is uh, that same as the mid that they average the- Yeah, yeah, mid is the same, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I, I see, yeah. I named it, uh, okay? because sometimes uh, it's good to look at it. Now, there is a table, 5.3, is that the 5.3? Yes, 5.3, there is a commercial. Again, this is a, a real, then I can compute the effective. 
and also information n etc a, a of l information so the same business i don't have to explain if you use effective material property here is a effective material property somewhere the same where is effective yeah effective here effective material property and uh, equations yeah equations This is for cooler, cooler now. So you can compute the effective the same way. Uh, uh, lecture. I need, uh, anyhow, we have a good agreement. Uh, I, I didn't have a copy of that. Okay, the same. I think we have a good agreement between, yeah. Now, um, normalized, the same business, um, COP, HP, and then I plot the heat pump. This is heat pump. This is new. Not even other book, only my book. This is my work. Believe or not. I'm the first time to create this characteristic in the world ever i'm sure so you can use it now is heat pump uh, cop and uh, maximum heating uh, everything the same so you, you understand uh, temperature uh, you know the same business but you can discuss the Heat pump. Interesting is very reasonable uh, curve. Very point three is a very reasonable curve. The COP is two point five. COP heat pump is about two point five, which is uh, heating and the power is. 2.5 higher than than the electric power this is amazing you have a, a electric coil uh, if you put the uh, if you put the electric power is voltage current how much heat is 100% in interesting that's the thermodynamic in heating is a hundred percent if you put the electricity one kilowatt you can get the one kilowatt of uh, heating so people say oh that's good efficiency is a hundred percent you know power uh, is a uh, hundred uh, electricity is changed to heat this is no good Look at that. If you heat uh, uh, one kilowatt, how much heat do you think you can have it just here? Answer? 8.5 kilowatts. So this is a stupid or not, if you use an electric car. Electric car. Say, say something, stupid or not. It's, it's stupid. Yeah. 
people are doing this. Some people, some car is doing this. And then uh, I saw California suddenly snow. The car trapped and turned on the heater. Five hours ran out and killed. Whole family was killed. It's amazing. Engineering is amazing. They can five hours if you use a thermal electric. How many hours they can use? Two point five is about. 15 hours, they can survive. So helicopters came and survived. Uh, not all the car, uh, some car they use uh, uh, some electric, I know that. But they are not well known about this. What happened? It's uh, physics. Uh, anyhow, what time? Uh, what is what time is it now? Five o'clock. Okay, take a break. I need a, a, another hour today. Take a break. I will be back.
<clears throat> I am back. Uh, one more uh, topic I have to. Uh, so far, uh, it covers the homework problem one, homework problem one, 5.1. I covered. Now, 5.16 is a challenge. I'm, I'm just telling you. Uh, this is a little bit challenging. So this is OK. Um, 5.16 is challenging problem. And uh, I included the final exam. You said it will be on the final exam? Say again? You said it will be on the final exam? Uh, copy. Copy. Right. Yeah, up to, okay. up to, up to 516. Okay. But I'm telling you, 516 is challenging. And, yeah, the uh, optimum tables in the appendix. Yeah, yes, yes. This is I'm going to talk about now. Okay. And uh, uh, I need uh, this is the last page. I have a little problem. Chapter eight. Oh, no, 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 no. So, this is chapter eight. Jesus. Uh, eight. Is the last page optimal design is missing? Ah, sorry, <laughs> I was a little confusing. Uh, Summer design lecture A is the last one. Where can I get? Mm -hmm. Sorry.
Lecture five, lecture note five. <coughs> I found it. Lecture note five. Ah. Uh. Sorry about the students. I'm sorry. I didn't expect the, uh, so I couldn't prepare that. Uh, okay. <laughs> No, this is cool. Uh, number four. Yeah, no, okay. Okay, this is a page. 373, your book, <clears throat> Optimum Design. Okay. Um, this topic, I'm telling you, is um, the final exam problem one, two, three, four, five. It's uh, about uh, problem number five is about the optimal design okay the other one two three four is uh whatever the previous so uh, in order to do that uh, the last problem you have to understand the optimum design <clears throat> you can raise a question and the important Okay. <clears throat> Professor? Yes. So I was just curious. So we're only going to have two hours to do this final? Uh, I'm going to give you three hours. Extend. So, so five, 5 to 8 p.m. Can I do it or not? Is there any conflict? You could just do a take-home exam. Oh. Uh, Uh, the, the final exam is very difficult to change, five to seven. Um, I will think about it. You can start. Um, uh, I will say, uh, okay. Would you maybe be able to open it up just for like the whole day and just have like a deadline to get it in by? Oh, no, <laughs> not the whole day, no. Three to, what is a uh, seven? Would that be okay? So four hours, open. So yeah, you can, works. yeah, three to seven. So four hours. Okay. That's a sufficient, no more than that. I will do that. If if I'm not doing it, let me email me. Uh, I, I, I will do that. Three to seven. What time is it? Uh, 
Oh, I ran out of time. Okay. So what is, uh, uh, so far, it is uh, confusing, I, I know. Uh, but um, the, so far, there is no heat sink. No, no heat sink, ju just uh, thermoelectric. So T1, T2, um, whatever high, low. But uh, practically, it's very difficult to, to supply just the constant temperature T1, T2. No way. Right? It's very difficult, practically. If we provide the T1, T2, TH, TC, yes, you can look at the ideal equations, uh, previous chapter five, but practically no. So what happened is uh, usually the fluid temperature is a constant, fluid, high, low, whatever high, low. And then so there is a- fluid one always hot and, or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fluid temperature so... is constant. So this is a practical problem. Now is a heat sink, you know the heat sink. At is H1. T1 the same as TH? Yes, but it's not uh, constant anymore now. Okay. So this is a constant. That's okay. Keep in mind. I set the T1, T2 here. T Z. Okay. So so same, actually same T1, T2, Q1, Q2. This is uh, like a QH. This is a QC. Uh, this is a, a TZ generator. It, it, it's same, but there is a heat sink at the H1. One is a one side. Two is a two side. We, you know that H is a convection coefficient. A is heat transfer area. Eta is a, a fin efficiency overall. It's heat sink. Now this is a heat sink. You know that, okay? So um, uh, this is a practical problem. And then I modeled, okay? Q1 is at H1, T infinity minus T1, because direction, look at the direction, Q, and then, T1, I said, eta H A, and then thermoelectric, and then another heat sink. And then current is no, I know that. So five, one, two, three, four, five. And um, uh, this is uh, non-dimensional analysis usually because too many parameters. So non-dimensional, I did it, okay? So what is uh, introducing is NK. Suppose uh, the information about the cool, cooling side at uh, temperature, usually temperature is, is known, and then anyhow, using the information two side, like uh, eta H2, and then whatever, uh, N, A, K, L. That's the uh, first um, dimensionless number, N, K. My work, this is totally my work. You cannot find it anywhere else. And then uh, convection ratio, eta H1, eta H2. NH, I said. So dimensionless NK, NH, dimensionless, same. And then ratio, this is generator, R of R, is a load. Load. Uh, I cannot use L, so I use the R uh, ratio. And then temperature, again, everything dimension T1 over T infinity 2. T2 
over t infinity 2 t infinity 1 over t infinity 2 is a this is usually known given information this is not known this is not known q is not known but uh, i define dimensionless q1 star dimension is eta h matching the, the unit using t infinity 2 uh, this is a power input power input actual power once i do that i come up with the two dimensionless equations rather than five rather than five i think uh, it's not difficult to understand right just the two equation and then i unknown t1 t2 is a function of five dimensionless numbers and k and h r of r t infinity and gt gt is a property so this is out of question not optimized this is a property this is input this is a property and then n over r is not really optimized um, i will explain later uh, reasonably one is a good number you can start so question is and k and r of r is a question the same for t2 once i know the t1 t2 this is known is known so i can calculate the q1 dimension is q2 and i can calculate the power output i can calculate the efficiency wow this is amazing this is amazing i can compute uh, uh, everything i can compute the current i can compute the voltage so i just plot it uh first uh, i i used uh, some example this is the example i used gt2 is one it's a typical and then uh, a typical, I, I just picked the 2.6. So T infinity star is T infinity one over T infinity two. It must be Kelvin, okay? You have to use Kelvin, not the Fahrenheit, not the Celsius. You have to use Kelvin uh, temperature. Anyhow, then- so is that yes with that being over one then is the hot on top and the cold on the bottom yes 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 2.6 is a uh, top is hot yes make sense yeah but how do we know like in the homework if which one's t infinity one or it t will be given two? okay it will be given it's okay so you will know generator okay so once i know these two well then i plot it <laughs> i just plot it no no specific i just the typical two dimensionless numbers nh1 wow this is r over r maximum efficiency here maximum efficiency is here maximum power is here very close similar similar but uh, can you tell me what is rl over r for maximum power can you read for me maximum power 1.6 yeah 
This is I found it. Once we use a heat sink, it is greater than one. One is uh, is almost uh, impossible to have a one allele of R one because T one T two is changing. Do you see that changing? T one T two is changing. Not the constant. What is constant? T infinity is constant. T infinity is constant. So again, the efficiency is very close to about 1.6 or 2, about 2, anyhow. Um, and then they got the number power. So all we know if uh, power is about a point zero or four five, then this is actual no no actual over what? Eta two H two A two T infinity two is a known value. Once it is, you, if you have a known value, you can calculate power. So, what does it mean if you have a more higher efficiency, higher heat transfer coefficient? Higher heat transfer area, it could be higher. That's the answer. That's the answer with a given, given condition. So we have to have a high, 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 if possible, if possible. And then, And k, actually, there are two values simultaneously. There is a efficiency, there is no optimum, it turns out. But uh, the power, what is maximum power and k? Can you read for me? Point three. Yes, point three. So what is the NK? NK is N A L K over eta two H two A two. So eta H two is known, then something the product of n a l of k it must be 0 0.3 according to so which means you look at that if we don't know this optimum value people can i think i have seen many many cases they don't know we ha, optimum they they just uh, go here or here they don't know if we go here, greater than 0.3, the more n can be a more, more thermocouple does not help. The more thermocouple does not help, it decreases according to theory, possibly. But the less is decreased, there is an optimum. That's optimal. Uh, and the uh, temperature depends on the K is a huge. Temperature T1 and T2 is a huge. And K is so sensitive. And K is so sensitive to the power. 
So although in this plot, efficiency does not show optimum, but it's okay. Why you okay? Once I have an optimum, once I have an optimum power, that's okay. I know that they're very close to optimum. Wow. Wow. Um, I have to go back and uh, open the appendix. Appendix. Uh, you had it right there at the top in the folder you were just in. Go all the way to the top. Where is the appendix? Nope. It was in the folder you were just in before this. I, I cannot hear you. It's something your voice is. All right. It was in the folder you were in before this. So if you push back, it'll be there. The back arrow to go to the last folder you were in. Here? No, no, in the file explorer window, the back arrow in the top left. Uh, the top left. This here. It must be here, appendix. What? Oh. You went to a different folder before this, I thought, but oh. 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 Oh, maybe here, appendix, appendix, top, top five. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah, this one. I think this B, yeah. B um For example, um, huh? infinity. Two point six. Yeah, two point six. Okay. Uh, let's look at here. T for one point two. T infinity, NH, uh, I suggest one. I put the point one ten, but uh, one is a good. Once you have two value, T infinity, TH, then this is optimum. R optimum, K, NH, um, T, I need that. This information two point six and yeah two point six two point six one and R R one point six. That's what did you remember? You know, this is the exact, we, we just uh, look at the graph. Do you remember RL of R 1.6? Say yes, close. And then NK is 0.3. Efficiency, 0.1. Power, 0.45. Temperature, 2.1. 
T2, 1.3, Ni, and Nv. This is optimum for this. Optimum. Amazing. I, I just table for you. Do you see that? So, okay. Now, Now, um, five, fifteen, five, sixteen, ah, five, sixteen, five, eighteen, I'm talking about five, eighteen example now. Thermal electric cooler, such a, you can find it. Table 5.3 about post cooling in summer and winter heating. I can, I can discuss cooling and heating, no problem. Um, uh, it can be cooling and heating by just switching polarity without the changing hardware. Very good. Just one hardware. You can cooling in winter. You can heating in summer. Even beautiful. The specification of a module is found, uh, I think, at 2.3. The hot and cold is typically uh, 20 degrees C. Yeah, say uh, uh, difference, uh, called the difference is 20. So TH minus TC is 20, 20 degrees C. Uh, estimate the cooling power. Uh, COP is one. I told you, otherwise the COP will be very small, cooling maximum. So, and this is estimate just the COP1 in summer and the COP uh, maximum heating in winter. Two cases, one and two. One case is a COP1, two cases HP at the maximum heating. So, um, what I did, um, the table C2301503. Table 53. No. This is five two. Five three. The book. Yeah, this is five three. This is five three. And the CP ten. I got the maximum values. Okay, I I got maximum values. Go back. So, and then uh, I got GT value from table. This is the value I got it from the table, and delta T is twenty is given. I'm starting. So delta T, delta T max is 0.3, about 0.94. And uh, uh, for COP1, delta T 0.3. Um, so um, QC, Q max, um, uh, I got the 0.6. Let's go and where can I find this plot?
Yeah, here. That, that's uh, actually, I'm not going to repeat, but um, uh, the, oh, no, 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 no. That, that, this is a, a generator. So, cool. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. The, something, something like that. I have to look at this. I have to use this. So what was, uh, do you remember help me, uh, TC over TH? 0.3? Yes. Uh, TC over TH is about uh, 0.3. And uh, COP, what, what was COP? Uh, One. It, huh? One. One. So, COP, I think it's about here, yes? COP, one is here, and TC is point 0.3, point 0.3 is this one. So actually this two point, so I, I, I rather go this. Yeah, point six. Uh, about. Uh, I'm going to use point six closed. Okay. So what what is the next? What do I need? Eighteen. And QC over Q max. QC over Q max. Yeah. I'm confusing which one. Yeah. Uh, QC over Q max. Point uh, three QC. And uh, 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 point six is about, I don't know, about here. So point six is about here. So that uh, QC over QC max is about 0.5. The accuracy is a uh, 0.5. So what is the cooling power is if I know the QC max, I can compute. Yes. That's what I did. That's what I did. 34.5. This is the I got. It. And uh, Maximum heating then I have to go to uh, I have to go to heat pump. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here uh, temperature is 0.3 and the temperature is 0 0.3, 0 0.24 in the middle. So what is the um, uh, TC over TH is 0 0.3. Uh, maximum, what is heating? So is uh, QI, I max is what? Anyone? One. Yes. Then QH, QH max is what? Point nine two. So QH max is Q 
QC max plus, I think, uh, uh, max. Uh, the QC max is given. Uh, QC max is given, but the, the, the power input max is, uh, what do you think of power input max, anyone? Um, it's I squared R. That's it, or anything else? I think you have to multiply M. Oh, it's I squared max. Oh, I didn't. I ask a max, yes. I square max, R is R, and then I think you have to use N, yes or no? Uh, the example doesn't show the N. Well, uh, but anyhow, eventually you have to use N. So for maximum power, okay? Because uh, I max is uh, just uh, one couple. So, so if you use that value, then you can compute the maximum. Uh, what is the COP, anyone? For that. 2.4. Eight, eight, eight. Uh, uh, can you tell me again? 2.4. No. Maximum. 0.3 for maximum heating. Yeah. Is it 0.3? Or no, oh, I'm sorry, 1.5. Yeah, <laughs> 1.5. Oh my God, oh, why? what are you talking about? The COPHP is 1.5. Do, do you understand now? This is a real good maximum cooling, maximum heating. COP is still 1.5, it's better than better than just uh, coil heating. Yes? Say yes. Yes. This is beautiful. Maximum heating is better than coil heating. Coil heating is one. COP coil heating is one. So coal heating is no good. Ah, uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, I think uh, you have to use N. The uh, book doesn't use N for this one. If you look in the book at the example that is similar to this. Yeah. They don't use N. So I don't know. Uh, then my mistake. It's uh, no, 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 no. What, what is R? R is internal. Maybe I use the N, I'm sorry. If I use the N here, R, total, then I don't have to use N. In, right. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, because that's including all the resistance. Yeah, yeah. This R total included the N, then I don't have to include the N. As long as you understand. I think this is correct. Okay. Because R was, I used the N. So this is the power. I think that's all. Um, actually, I'm done, students. I'm done. Uh, we have a five uh, final exam problem one of them is is something like that okay so will you, sir, will you be yeah, posting one, the uh, homework like five point sixteen uh, uh, I, I cannot hear you would you slowly speaking again are we gonna do is there gonna be a problem like five point sixteen where it's the heat sink with the optimum what do you mean? Homework it's... problem 5.16 uses the appendix B. 
Yeah. Are we going to have one on the final like that? Because you didn't really go yeah. into that one. Yeah. Are going to post the solution for 516? So we can at least look no. at it. No. I'm not going to post the 516. The solutions? We never went over um, the optimum B, appendix B tables. Like you, I thought you were going to do an example of it, like 516 okay. problem. Okay, now I'm telling you. Um, okay. Appendix B, you can free. If you go widely, and uh, there is a, I will show you. Will you post the homework solutions? Except the 16. Then how am I supposed to know if I did it right? <laughs> if we're going to be uh, exam, if it's going to be on the exam, I'd like to know if I did 516 correctly. But anyhow, uh, 516 will appear in final exam, so I cannot give a solution. You understand? Oh, so, okay, it's going to be 516. I thought it was going to be one like 516. Yeah. Anyhow. Okay. Are you going to be posting this lecture so we can go back over that? <clears throat> like the table? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. I will okay, post good. it. Yeah, <laughs> I will post it. <laughs> okay, um, thank you. Uh, one second, one second. Uh, I will show you uh, how to get the um, thermal design Lee in you know, Google. And there is a Wiley. I uh, know I have to use a Wiley, then um, there is a Wiley, where is a Wiley, yeah, Wiley. Um, oh, you cannot see this, oh my God. You cannot see this. And and then uh, there is a, I'm telling you, uh, there is a instructor companion site or or an O book, O book. No, if you go O book, and uh, I think where can I find the view online library? It's free. Uh, appendix. Yes, yes, appendix. Uh, free appendix is free. B is free. B is free. A PDF. You, you everybody can get it. Appendix D or whatever appendix. Do you see that? No, no, you don't see. But you can get it. I'm sorry. I'm done. Um. Real quick, Professor, with the um, with the cooler, like with the heat sink cooler, would we use TC as T1 for the cooler? That's what I was kind of trying to get at, because if you choose TC or T2 as the T hot or the T1 cold. T1 is a TH. It, okay, T1, T1 is, is a TC, TH? yeah. Okay. For the thermoelectric cooler because problem 5.16 doesn't tell you which one's which and that's why I was you have to it. yeah yeah you have to figure out okay all right okay students good luck bye bye